backslash London, hundreds of staff at London's National Gallery today began an indefinite strike, the latest in a series of walkouts to protest at the outsourcing of some services to the private sector. Members of the Public and Commercial Services, Pieces, Union have staged 56 days of action since February after plans were revealed for privatizing certain services which the gallery said would allow it to operate more flexibly and deliver an enhanced service. The museum is London's second most popular tourist attraction, drawing around 6 million visitors per year. It will stay open during the latest strike, although some rooms will be closed and many educational workshops have been cancelled. Gabrielle Finaldi, the museum's new director announced in late July that he had signed a five-year contract with the private company Securitas to look after reception and security, covering around 300 current positions. The museum insists that no jobs are threatened, but pieces leader Mark Sirotka argued that privatization could harm the gallery's international reputation. Around a third of the museum's 600 staff are expected to join the protest. Nick McCarthy the union's director of campaigns and communications, told BBC Radio, We have no alternative but to go on strike, the privatization is completely unnecessary. Today's strike is indefinite until such time as we are able to reach a solution with the gallery. There will also be a picket line outside the gallery.